Taurus, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the week of February 12th through the 18th. I'm going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. But first, let's jump into some Oracle messages and get a read on the week for you all. Thank you for tuning in today, for sharing this space with me. It is an honor to be able to read for you. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over the reading for Taurus today. Okay. What's the energy frequency you're tapping into this week? Taurus. Hope you're having a lovely February. Happy Valentine's to you all who celebrate Valentine's. Give yourself a lot of love, even if you're not single this month, okay? Woo! Listen. Interesting. I haven't pulled this one in quite some time. You're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do something or say something, and it's time to act on its wisdom. Ooh. Interesting message. So, you need to uh, do or say something to someone this week or with people. Interesting. I'm getting more of a certain someone. All right. Let's go into the tarot and find out what's been happening. Hmm. All right, we're gonna jump right in. Thank you for all of your support as I, I grow this channel. Ooh, okay. Knight of Swords, a call to action. Same with the Oracle, a call to action. In the recent past, let's see what that was around. Two of Wands. But first, let's figure out where we're going, right? Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Overall general energy for the week, the Page of Cups. Opening up into a love opportunity. Hmm, we'll see what that's about, Taurus. Justice is your opportunity for the week. Coming back into balance, a sense of fairness going on in your life, maybe in certain situation. The challenge is the seven of wands, standing up, taking a stand in something, or defending yourself in some regard. Knight of wands, well, there's a lot of movement going on in this. That's what you don't see coming. A lot of movement. In the recent past, you were giddy up and you were moving, um, Considering your options, maybe looking at two different routes, right? Two different directions. I do believe that you had some sort of new opportunity come your way, and then you started to make a plan and implement it. Hmm. In the near future, we have the Four of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So, as you can see, this is a little bit of a contradictory um, message because you have a, a sense of pride, right? Overcoming obstacles. But you're really carrying a very heavy, heavy um, mental space here and emotional space as well. But I think what Spirit's trying to tell you is you're going to triumph over whatever it is that you're stressing over in the near future. You could have been stressing over what to do, okay? Trying to make a plan. You know, sometimes we have new opportunities come our way and, and then you have to figure out, you know, how you're going to handle it. So you've definitely been overthinking. You could be a bit disappointed, um, really waiting on things to change. But ultimately, Spirit wants you to know, dead center with the Six of Wands, is you're going to triumph over whatever it is that's stressing you right now. Okay? Let's clarify these messages here and find out why they're here. The Page of Cups it's like a, it could be a promising new start in love. Let's see. Especially with this justice, this opportunity, you know, it's, you could be pouring on the love this week and feeling good about it. Let's see. Ooh, you had a cycle in with the world, the two of cups and the nine of pentacles. You might be, I feel like you've been waiting on a love opportunity and in this past cycle, I think you were waiting and waiting and waiting. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is a slow but sure progression towards you, okay? 
You could have had someone into your life recently or about to enter your life to show you love, right? To This is the humble beginning in love. This is the, the Ace of Cups is the offering, the opening up to love, and the Page of Cups is actually doing something about it. So you or someone around you could be doing something about the love they feel, okay? Trying to bring things together. Those of you that are in partnership, you're trying to slowly but surely bring things back together into a loving space. Let's go into, I'm curious about this Ace of Pentacles in your recent past. What was this opportunity that came your way? Opportunity Seven of Pentacles to maybe reinvest in something or invest in something with you. I had a lot of options though. Seven of Cups, we have two sevens. So there are some big decisions that you made in the recent past around what you were gonna do, right? You had a lot of different opportunities. Seven of Cups is often our, our card of options. So you, you had to pick one. <laughs> you had to pick an option. And I think you chose the option that really made you feel inspired, determined, successful. I like seeing that. It just looks like you could have been opening up into an opportunity to express with another, okay? And you may have overthought it a little bit. You could still be overthinking it a little bit. This feels very much like a new beginning in love and the hesitation and the worry and the you know, just trying to get to know someone or single someone out and really dive into that opportunity itself. But let's see why justice is here. Why is justice here? Again, investing in a new opportunity. I do believe a lot of you are investing in a brand new opportunity. Wow. Okay, so the opportunity is for things to feel balanced in, a, in quite possibly a new connection in your life. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic, but with the Ace of Wands, that does signify uh, there being some sort of spark, okay? And moving forward with that spark and experiencing equal give and take, this is a very solid, healthy energy. You're feeling like this opportunity is fair. Like it, it feels like as much as you're giving, you're receiving. And it's so nice to be met in that energy. Almost as though at least you have an opportunity not to doubt it, okay? But in the near future, you, you are. But that might be triggering from past pain, past experiences. But Spirit is wanting you to know that this opportunity feels very solid and you're moving forward with, with the desire to bring things into balance. I love that energy. But there's something that you're defending yourself against here. And I want to know what that is, this challenge here. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. This is so cute. I can tell. We have two Knight of Wands, but you don't see coming. Oh, wow. This is the, let me get to know them first before, even, even if it's not a romantic interest and it's just a friend. I, I feel your hesitation, Taurus. You're, you're, it's as though you're, you're, in the past, you might have wanted to keep your options open. You know, we now have... Um, we have a lot of wand energy here, which signifies there is, you've had this opportunity to kind of radiate, right? Put your sign out there saying you're open and available, right? To, to get to know, uh, possibly be courted or court others. And I think you've been quite delighted with the attention, but also um, overwhelmed with making the right decision. That's what it feels like to me. But with the page energy here, this is the willingness to learn, to open up, to expand in your life. But almost as though you're, I feel like you want to open up, but you're not opening up too fast. It's like this, I'm going to be a little bit more reserved here, Jenna, just to keep myself safe. And I totally understand that. Let's see what this two of wands is in the recent past. And this could be if someone, if it's someone that you've been currently with, you definitely are in a brand new um, cycle where you're both putting in the right amount of energy to really increase, right, the connectivity. That's what I'm seeing. There's so much connectivity going on with you and another person, and it, it feels good to you, but you're also not overdoing it. I think you, you definitely were full on in your desire to create and manifest something new for you in the past. And it arrived, and I think now you're like, well, what do I do with it? <laughs> what do I do with it? Well, you certainly don't want to stress out about it or overthink it. 
maybe, maybe whatever opportunity you called in, whether it's in work or your personal life, it's, you're still kind of sussing it out to make sure it's suiting, suiting you. Wow. We have clarifying the two of wands in the recent past. We have the Knight of Swords, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. I, I do believe that you've been going toward a love opportunity that feels very fulfilling and, or you had something come in and it, maybe it's recent, 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 something come in where we need to just get to know one another. And if it's, if it's an existing connection, there could have been a distance involved here too, when you met and it's all the planning on how do we bring this together? Cause the two ones is often the card of meeting at a distance, dating at a distance. If not at a distance, it's just, you're trying to temper this, right? So the flow of the love and the connectivity is moderated. <laughs> so you don't rush in. You know, Knight of Swords is, let's let's think about this. Let's not go full speed ahead. But coupled with the wand energy, it's like you're, there's a part of you that's like, I want to dive in so bad, Jenna, but I'm trying to take my time and come up with a plan here. So you do have this fiery, you have a fiery new beginning here. Why are you stressed though? This nine of swords. There's a fair level of stress going on in your head over this. Why? And maybe does someone around you wants to take their time? Oh, and sometimes, oh, the more we think about a new opportunity, the more we can stress out about it and start to get afraid. I think there's some fears coming up in whoever you've recently been talking to and this could be an existing connection where you're trying to level out, okay, in the connection and give it what it needs, right? Because there's been some defensiveness recently. Overall, I do feel like you've been feeling fulfilled in whatever choice you've made when it comes to your heart space or choices. But there's definitely some fears coming up and it's around the, the things that are being said in the exchange of information. But overall, again, we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. So you're reaching this place where you have enough available energy in the way you're giving and receiving information with this other person to really feel good. But I think your fears might get the best of you in the near future, Taurus, with this person. Let's see. Why is the Six of Wands here? This is the card of victory, feeling seen, feeling appreciated, feeling admired even. Let's see. The Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Strength. Taurus, I mean, what's not to love here? Some of you are, are taking your relationships to the next level here, considering possibly moving in or beginning a family. Maybe you're stressed out about how to make this all happen. You know, sometimes even coming together with the right person, you're, you're going to overthink things because you're mapping out like your future. And that might be kind of scary for some people. It is change. Good change is still stressful, but I'm seeing such a glorious energy here. As long as you don't overthink it or allow the fear to override all the good that's occurring in your life right now. You've got something in your life that feels very long-term and very nurturing, and it's making you grow little by little, maybe even leaps by leaps in your confidence. Sometimes we, we meet people at just the right time to lift us up, and, and we feel seen, and we feel desirable, and we just feel nurtured. And this is doing wonders. This connection in the near future is going to do wonders. I think to minimize your fear of, of taking this to the mind and really dropping down into your heart space and enjoying it. Taurus, I want you to enjoy it. You, you, be, you could be going through a massive transformation here, um, moving on from something and having those, those memories and those energies kind of linger. And sometimes when we bring those in, it, it makes it hard to receive and it makes us hard to trust, you know, other people it makes it very hard. So what is this? You're, Feeling a little bit discontent though. There might have had some trust issues come up in your connection if you're married or if you've been with someone long term. Trust issues, fear, but there's a heavy, heavy, heavy communication going on. And I think the more you communicate and the more you open up to this person, wow. There could have been a period where 
you both kind of had to pull apart a little bit if you're in a connection and you you're that's been a bit rocky I think there was a period of time where you're still kind of dealing with feeling a little bit distant from the person that you're with and there is this beautiful shift here going on in the near future of things really come back, coming back into balance with the temperance the three of cups and the star look at all the purple here I just want you to see this all the purple indicative of the third eye right being guided by your intuition you know I think that you may have been disappointed in someone in the past and really started to overthink this connection maybe there's a hesitation here and a consideration of it could have been somebody that you were friends with that um, for those of you that have met someone and there were feelings that started to develop and, and some wishes that were beneath the surface and some overthinking like does this person even like me you know can I trust that this might turn into something and for those of you who are meeting someone or have met someone and you didn't know if they were interested in you or they liked you well they like you they like you a lot they really like you okay Taurus you have the opportunity here for wish fulfillment satisfaction balanced energy exchange coming together right it's there's just that little it's like I feel like you're hesitant for some reason you're hesitant this week around opening up to another person whether you've known them already or whether they're brand new in your life and they're normal I think you are still got your boundaries up as you open up slowly but surely I think that you want this I you want to dive deeper right and I think the reason why you're being asked to listen to your inner voice is really trust yourself right now around what you've manifested and how it feels okay really really hone in I mean if I can encourage you at all if you're meeting somebody new and you're getting to know them really really allow your inner voice to guide you through this so you're so connected with that that anything that comes up you can navigate really speaking authentically from your heart opening up being truthful and even sharing your fears I feel like the more you communicate with this person even to tell them hey you know this is kind of scary right I mean if you're just transparent I think that goes a long way you know if you're vulnerable and um, certainly if you've had trust issues with someone in your life and you've been partnered with them I think there's been a lot of stress around how to work it out but the communication is going to improve here you might have had some communication hiccups if you've been in a long-term relationship and I see this week things kind of smoothing out and things improving yeah there's so much balance coming towards you Taurus this feels excellent like this is probably the most solid reading I've done so far and I'm halfway through this week's readings so kudos to you all I think it's going to be a solid week really lean in open up your heart okay that's too many that's too many sorry we had too many come out oh those want to come out though all right so clarifying the knight of wands what you don't see coming I think that yeah you may have been a little bit we have the ten of pentacles the eight of cups and the two of wands of two of swords you may have over the knight of wands so I think you're trying to slow things down a little bit you may have had a misunderstanding with someone that you've been with for a while and I think that you may have not even realized the role this person has in your life okay or the role this person will have in your life I think slowly but surely as you move toward disconnection which I believe is new for a lot of you because we have all this page energy and ace energy but this this opportunity here for this week is to slowly but surely open up into a new cycle and move towards love starting out with this page energy like you could have um, an, someone who's younger than you or you're younger than them there's a youthfulness and innocence here a willingness to let's let's start small okay let's not get ahead of ourselves but we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles here in the immediate future so this is marked by a very long-term opportunity and I, you may be um, overall as you move forward spirit is saying make sure you don't go too fast or you might miss out right on some of the signs just to speak up you know just to allow this person to get to know you authentically okay so this is too about not putting on a mask when you meet someone and we all do this when we date really being you all right and 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 expecting that in return the, those are beautiful requirements for getting to know someone even if you're in an existing partnership this is about being authentic okay and getting to the truth of who someone is and the words they're saying make sure the actions and the words line up okay let's get some 
Yeah, make sure you still have your boundaries, the Nine of Wands, with this individual, okay? But overall, I see such a beautiful unfoldment of love this week. Whether you are with someone or you're just getting to know someone new, you could be walking away from someone still, okay? You have a lingering energy of something from the past that still is affecting you emotionally, and I think that's why you're trepidatious in something new here. You may have had something surprising land in your lap or will land in your lap as you have been exiting something else. And I don't think it's a long period of time. Like it hasn't been years, but it could be like six months to a year since you've been with someone. And the last person burned you so badly that you don't want to go into anything in any kind of denial or illusion about who someone is. You're very clear, Taurus. I love this. You're very clear about what you want and about where you're going. Just try not to overthink this. You have been disappointed in the past, but I think you've been working really hard on manifesting a new opportunity in your life that's going to be much better and bigger and, and just better suited for you. Moving forward, the moon. There's like, it's almost like a, you know, you might have just had this. I think this might have just, this might take you by surprise, Taurus, if you haven't met this person. A lot of you have been on your own for a while. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You want mutual reciprocity. If you don't know what that means, look it up. But it's basically when two people are giving equally. You know what you want and deserve, okay? King of Wands to your Queen of Wands. Yeah. Hierophant and the Moon. Wow. 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 Taurus. Some of you are, are, are experiencing the hiccups um, as a connection deepens and it feels more and more like this could be um, This could be if it's not marriage. It's it feels like a spouse to you You know the person that you either have been with or you are about to meet Okay, I think a lot of you've been waiting on love This has love written all over it and the opportunity for something to deepen so truly and beautifully a very and an undeniable connection Okay King and Queen of Wands here. We have a beautiful match. You you might be you might have had a lot of opportunity here to open up and and meet new people, and you're going to be zeroing in the King of Wands. It could be a fire sign that you're curious about. They carry a lot of fire energy. Okay, Taurus, it's looking beautiful here. I'm very very excited for you because this this has the markings of something great. Just try not to compare it, compare this person to your last person, okay? All right, the self-healing. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Good news, Taurus, positivity. Your prayers have been heard. Good news is on the way. The universe wants you to have expectancy of positive outcomes in your life. You have the power to manifest what you desire of your highest good by co-creating with Source. Now it's time to celebrate. Who else got celebrate? Sag. You could have been you could be meeting a Sagittarius because Sag had a celebration as well. So listen to your gut, okay? Trust your instincts if you're getting to know somebody new. And if it's someone that you've been with, I think things are really gonna be moving forward. Just don't go into any illusion and really drop recent emotions if you guys have been button heads. I think you're gonna overcome these issues that you've had, these breakdowns in communication. Try not to go into a fear mode. Okay, and trust, okay? Trust this process as you deepen. Mm -mm. Vibing, enjoy it. Take care, Taurus.